Hey guys, Cynix here, and welcome back to the channel. I've been watching people play AI Dungeon, and it's time that me and my friend Philip go into an amazing, awesome adventure together, holding hands while skipping. I don't skip, I hop. Okay, well, I skip in this story. Uh, now the question is, Philip, fantasy, mystery, <coughs> apocalypse of zombies, or custom? Let's do some uh, funky mystery and solve some sh Mystery van time. It's like the character. The patient, detective, or spy. We're, 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 we're not, we gotta be patient if we're gonna be detectives, right? That's true. You know, we just gotta stand around and wait for uh, the clues to fall in our lap because we're just that good. Yes. Plot armor. Enter your name. Um, <coughs> Denku? Detective Pokacho. Detective. I spelled detective wrong. Pokuchu. Pokuchu. Detective Pokuchu, I like. <laughs> You're reading the story, please wait. You're Detective Pokuchu, a patient living in Chicago. You have a hospital bracelet and a pack of bandages. You wake up in a run-down hospital with no memory of how you got there. You took a look around the room and see a few things that remind you of your past life. A chair from when you worked as a doctor is sitting on one side of the bed next to a dresser full of bandages. So, Philip, what we should do is that our, our character, since there's two of us in his head, He's got a split personality, but he doesn't know it. So every turn, we'll switch back and forth, forcing this poor man to do things. So who, which one of his uh, multiple personalities is the, the detective, and which is the... Which is the what? As it says the story, he's got stuff from when he worked as a doctor. So he's both a, de a doctor and a detective. You can be the detective, and I'll be the doctor. We're all being the same person. You may go first, my friend. What do you say? I'm gonna investigate this other bastard in my brain. Investigate <laughs> the other bastard in my head. This will investigate, right? I don't even know, guys. By the way, guys, I don't know how to read or write. I suck at it. So this game will help me learn to read good. I investigate the other bastard in my head. <laughs> you get to read that. You get to read that. I decide to check out the man who lives in my head. The first thing I do is go back in my dream world to find him. He's sitting in his desk writing some bullshit doctor sh <laughs> I say... What are you doing in my office? I point at the man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you point your long, chunky fingers at the man standing in your brain office. He looks startled by the sudden actions and quickly backs away from you. What did what I say? I, say? He asks. Uh, I think that's me talking. <laughs> oh, go ahead. What did I say? I didn't mean nothing. I'm just wondering who the fuck you are. Uh, if you want, you can type in Discord chat, and I can just copy and paste it over for you. It's hard to tell who's doing what now. Well, it's your turn, because we're just going to go back and forth, and I guess our brains might get confused, and you might become me, and I might become you. Who knows? This will go. Tell me what, Dr. Bullshit, you're up to in my brain, you fat, bald bastard. That was the joke, you say. It wasn't meant for anyone else. The man looks confused by your words and turns to leave. As I... As... The brain... Office doctor... Walks towards... The door... With a saddened... Look... In his eyes. He then says... Man... My dad's not a cell phone. Duh!
the the man the the man then lowers his head hiding his eyes with his with his fedora <laughs> Thanks for Fedora. Without all. Fedoria. Ferdinand. Fedoria. I gotta figure out how to spell Fedora. Stupid. Fedora. Fedora. Oh, it's. There's no, there's no R in it. That's why. I'm retarded. Oh. Here we go. As the brain office doctor walks towards the door with a saddened look in his eyes, he then says, Man, my dad's not a cell phone. The man lowers his head, hiding his eyes with his fedora. As the brain office doctor walks towards the door with a sad look in his eyes, he then lowers his head, hides them behind his ears. <laughs> the brain doctor leaves. Wait, so I just kicked the brain doctor out of his own office? Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Another mystery solved. <laughs> Another mi mystery. Wait, no, no, I gotta rummage around through his desk first. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to type? I rummage around through the brain doctor's desk. That's a rummage. Like R U M A G E, I think. God, bro, I'm stupid. <laughs> rummage? I rummage through the brain office doctor's... Brain doctor. I'm just gonna do that. Doctor's uh, stuff. This looks like an illegal substance case, boys. <laughs> you rummage through the brain doctor's stuff. You find a note saying, don't try this at home, and some pills. You open it up and take a pill, which makes you feel sick. You throw the note in disgust and put the pills back in where they belong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you go home to try more pills. I go, I go home to try more of the pills. You go home and try more of the pills. You find a box of matches and light the match, and but nothing happens. You also find a lighter and light the match, but nothing happens either. We must still be in the fucking uh, brain office. Some the mystery's not over. What's the doc? What's our name again? <laughs> <Did I just? laughs> Detective Poke Cho or something. <laughs> For all we know, that was a dream too. <laughs> I've never heard of the detective. 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 This Poke is actually great. <laughs> this is like a fucking triple layered mystery, right? Exclaims loudly. I am still dreaming. <laughs> this world is twisted, it changes. You can either dream about the detective who's been chasing you all night. This time, he catches you and puts a gun to your head. I'm sorry, but I can't let you live, he says. If I don't kill you now, someone, someone else Will soon. You get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> I think he's shooting you. No, I'm the detective. Has been chasing you around. I'm the detective. Oh, oh, oh well, you're just me. Uh, what do you, you, what do you at me? Say, uh, I'm sorry, but I can't let you live. If you, I don't kill you now, someone else will. Oh, that's what you said. Okay, so. Uh, so how do I write this? Cause I'm you. I look into the detective. I look deeply into the detective. Tell me I'm not real. 
He did this. Eyes. And then with and whisper into his ear. It's free real estate. <laughs> I don't feel how real estate. I can't read. All right. Man, this guy's whole brain is free real estate. <laughs> Damn, I, why can't I spell anything? Today? Re real estate. Oh, it's really easy to spell. Why can't I fucking spell? Dude, I'm so dumb. I've been almost hungover. Real estate. <laughs> what will happen next? You look deeply into the detective's eyes and then whisper into his ear. It takes a moment for him to understand what you said, but eventually he does. You'll be able to get revenge on everyone who's wronged you someday, he says softly. I'll start with you, you bastard. Get out of my head. <laughs> I then hold the detective closely. To fuse into some kind of like Dragon Ball shit fusion like thing. <laughs> you. Hold the detective tightly and fuse into some sort of, like, Dragon Ball shithouse thing. You then proceed to tell him everything that happened yesterday and how you were going to make sure it never, <laughs> make sure he never got justice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do next? All right, well, now our minds have melded. Uh, okay, so we're, we've become... Now that our minds have become one, mystery solved. <laughs> you now that you now that your minds have become one. Mystery solved. Your minds is now connected to the other's mind. You both know what you want to do next, but you need each other's help in order to achieve it. I know. What I... No, it's, since we're connected, it's like we know what we must do now. I... Or we then... Grab our pew gun and bring it to our head. Oh god, my pants are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you no, must I, I, I rushed to find some water <laughs> to put this fire out in my pants. <laughs> we gotta read what they said before. You feel a great sense of peace wash over you. Your body feels warm and tingly, almost as if you're burning from within. We begin to panic. We need a drink of water, quick. <laughs> we grab a drink of water. Pure. Pure hydration. To be exact. Because that is the only form of water that can crunch this burning from within. This mystery is getting deeper, I think. You begin to panic. You grab your drink of water, pure hydration to be exact, because that is the only form of water that can crunch the burning from within. The pain begins to subside and your sense returns. You are now in total blissful ignorance of just of, of what just transpired. Happy ending. The end.
So we were fucking dehydrated and hallucinating, and all we needed was so. We needed pure hydration. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make sure you stay hydrated, kids. 